Namaste, Goa Flowers. How are you? I hope you're feeling better than how I was feeling at least yesterday. I woke up feeling very groggy, like, like I had a fog <laughs> inside of my brain and my voice was very croaky and hoarse and I thought, oh my God, I'm coming up with a cold. I don't have time to get sick. So I quickly pulled out everything that I know that will help me to not get sick. And I did that yesterday and I feel so, so, so much better today. So I figured, let me put it in a video and share it with you. So hopefully it can help you as much as it has helped me. It's not super challenging or difficult things to do. I think everything you have at your disposal already, at least you can look and listen to the things that I share and you can choose the ones um, that apply to to you. So hopefully you find this video helpful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already because that helps me out a lot. Let me get started. Okay. Tip number one, which is really, really important, but which is really, really hard for me to do, is to avoid my black tea with a little bit of milk in the morning when I start to feel like I'm coming up with a cold. But when I avoid that, and the same thing will be the case for if you are you're a coffee drinker. Avoid taking that into your system because it's just going to create much more mucus in your body as it is acidic. Instead, what I did was I had a turmeric latte. Now, I haven't been a huge turmeric latte fan, but actually the night before I had met um, a Goa flower, Paula, who was visiting London from Argentina, we met at Planet Organic and she had found um, this pre-made turmeric latte mix and I thought mm, let me try this and I'm so glad I did it had ginger in it and I actually really really love it so I think now I'm a converted turmeric latte uh, drinker but it definitely set me off on the best way because I felt much lighter in my lungs and also in my throat as well as just in my nose in general. Uh, and then mid-morning I had just boiled water with um, some ginger and lemon in it and that also was very helpful. For the rest of the day I drank lots and lots and lots of water. I must have had up to two liters of water. I just wanted to flush everything out. So definitely what you drink is going to have a huge impact on how it escalates or not. Then number two, I did the neti pot. I think a lot of you guys know about the neti pot. I made a video on how to use the neti pot a few years ago, or a little bit more than a few years ago. I'll link that in the description box below. But the neti pot is great. So you basically make a saline solution and then you pour it through one nostril into the other. And as the water comes out through the other nostril, you start to see all of the gunk that comes out. Then you blow your nose and then you repeat it on the other side. And depending on how your nose feel, you can do this a couple of times and you notice afterwards that it makes a huge difference. I'm a huge advocate of the neti pot. It's great to do throughout the winter. Another thing that is great to do after you've done this is Kapala Bhati breathing. So I also have a video on that, but basically Kapala Bhati breathing is sharp exhalations through your nose. It has this pumping action through the abdomen. So it's a very cleansing kind of breath and it gets, you know, everything going and everything moving and then everything can just, you know, flush out. So wonderful, wonderful to do on a regular basis, except for if you are having your period, don't do Kapalabhati breathing. 
So number three, this is actually part of my morning routine. And if I don't get to do it as part of my morning routine, I do it as part of my evening routine. And I will be sharing this with you coming up next week, FYI. But it basically involves dry brushing first to really uh, stimulate the skin. The skin is the largest organ on our body, so it's important to keep everything uh, stimulated. And then I also do abhyanga, which is basically rubbing uh, oil and massaging the oil onto your skin and onto your muscles. Then when I've rubbed everything around my body, then I use this glove, which I get from Biologique Recherche, and this helps to just move all of the lymph and keep the circulation going. More on that in my morning and evening routine video. And number four is eating foods that will help to support you and to nourish you when you're feeling a little under the weather. And for me, that is soups. So immediately I make myself a very nourishing soup that has turmeric in it because turmeric is very anti-inflammatory. I forgot to say that in point number one, but it also has ginger, vegetables and lentils and, and all different kinds of ingredients that is going to help to support to nourish the body and you know flush out the bad stuff <laughs> plus it is very very tasty I will share with you my recipe in the description box below so you can also make it for yourself and eat it throughout the entire winter Number five, or when I start to feel like I'm a little bit under the weather, I actually don't like to do a hard workout. I feel that that defeats the purpose actually. I think that when we're about to come up with a cold or get sick, it's the body's message to actually slow down and to really nurture yourself and to take care of yourself. So what I love to do is a gentle restorative yoga routine. A lot of yoga poses that open up the chest, a lot of yoga poses that turn us upside down, inversions, so that is extremely helpful and supportive and it makes me feel so much better when I've done it. So I've also made a yoga routine for you with this theme and you will find that in your inbox if you are subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you will find that uh, on my main page here on YouTube as well. So check that one out. It is super helpful to do. My tip number six, or suggestion number six, is vitamin C. So of course you can have a lot of citrus fruits. Um, like I said earlier, uh, lemon is fantastic. But I also like to kind of top it up, as the English say, with the emergency. So I will put this into my water. I'll use in the beginning, at least when I feel like something is um, coming on, like 2,000 to 3,000 milligrams. Um, you can't really overdose on vitamin C because the excess is just going to come out through your pee. <laughs> so uh, I love these and I find these very helpful. They have uh, lots of minerals in them and um, antioxidants, electrolytes and um, B vitamins, so really, really good. Nothing that I share with you has been sponsored, not these either. Uh, this is all what I like and I buy it with my own money. Then tip number seven, or suggestion number seven, is of course go to bed early. Make sure you get your sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep is so important and I'm a huge advocate of sleeping. I don't think that it makes you a powerful, strong, more successful person. If you can survive on less sleep, you might be a person that can survive on less sleep and there are some people that are completely fine with that, but I think that the majority of people need a good seven, 
to eight hours of sleep in order to be able to regenerate and uh, especially when you are feeling a bit under the weather you have to give yourself rest so try not to resist just listen to your body and give it what it needs and if you give your body what it needs it knows exactly what to do so these were fairly easy tips don't you think let me know in the comment box below i would love to hear from you let me know if it felt helpful let me know if there's something that you do that really helps you to um, not fall sick when you feel like you're coming up with something and i'm about to explore there's a mushroom that i have been hearing tim ferris talk about that he has been taking i forget what it's called i have to research it a little bit more but he says that since he's been taking this mushroom it's like in a powder form uh, he hasn't been sick and he does a lot of traveling so if it helps tim i'm sure it can help us as well <laughs> but i will let you know about that when i have tried it out and if you have anything that you love i want to hear from you all right i hope you well and then check out the yoga routine and i will see you soon Mwah! bye emergency none of what i'm sharing in this video is sponsored so no worries i bought everything with my own money <laughs> <laughs> but I love the excess that you're just going to basically be peeing it out. Should I say that? Peeing it out? Peeing it out? Pee it out.